Hi guys, how you doing? What's good? Are you popping? Are you popping me? I know I'm popping, okay? I don't need anybody to tell me. I've already told myself. I know I'm popping, like for real, for real. Anyway, I'm just ready to go out. I decided to just do a little bit of makeup. But the reason why I call this meeting, see, if you're a guy and you are watching, just close your ears, okay? I didn't say you should not watch. Just watch, but don't, well, don't listen, but watch. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I called this meeting for my ladies because I was strolling on the streets of Instagram yesterday and this morning and I was seeing posts about, you know, women giving men money, lending money to men, dashing men money and I was like, eh, is that what you people are doing? You are giving men money, wow! <laughs> You are, you are better than me, oh. you are better than me. Anyway, in today's video, I want to discuss, you know, some of my thoughts on this whole dashing men money, giving men money because they say they like you, like, like sis, why? Anyway, yeah, if you'd like to know my thoughts on this topic, then just keep on watching. I haven't started doing the makeup, I'm already sweating. Anyway, I'm doing very light makeup. I don't have a foundation that matches my skin tone right now because pregnancy hormones i'm now several shades darker not just darker i'm several shades blacker like the color is black you know it's not uh, <laughs> the undertone is ashy so i don't really have a foundation that i can say let me i will blend to the gods and it will blend eh, eh. i don't have a foundation like that so i'm just going to be using my powder just to powder my face and you know remove some of that shine uh yeah that's all i'm going to do then i'll now proceed to do my makeup anyway so i was talking about i was seeing this post about um how one lady was talking about how she was giving men money uh in the end the men left her so there was once that she said she would use her money go and see the guy cook for the guy then the guy that same weekend while she was in his house the guy apparently took another babe and went to the beach and i was like <laughs> <"Ooh."> <laughs> yes see i understand that when it comes to this um love thing okay a lot of people become very um let me not say blind love is not blind please let me not say blind but a lot of people become that judgment is be clouded you know by by emotions by infatuation by feelings and all of that okay yes i understand that but at the same time like while you are single especially when you are single that is when you have the the time and that's when you have the you know opportunity to exercise your rights to choose okay the right to choose yes even though they say who he who finds a wife that they found does not mean that you must agree okay okay are you, are you listening to me that you are found does not mean that you must follow and okay he he chose me so let me just go no now sister what are you doing ah what are you doing do you know who you are do you know what you are do you know the kind of assets you are you know to any to any human being not just men in general too do you know the kind of assets you are to humankind that you just allow yourself because a man says he likes you anything he wants you're just doing anything he wants you're just doing what's the meaning of that what's wrong with you hmm? what's wrong with you you know better than that please okay you know i used to say this thing when i was dating eh? <laughs> i like you no reach where my money is oh. i like you do not reach where my money is the moment a guy just opens his mouth maybe you were dating not relationship like not my you're my boyfriend because he never got to I, I never had any boyfriend who asked me for money okay but we're just you know dating we're just checking each other out we're still talking and then you are asking me you want to borrow money from me or you're asking me to pay for something for you or you're asking me to give you money for something <laughs> the moment it leaves your mouth like this eh, every ounce of feelings or whatever that i had for you we just follow we just disappear poof like it's gone don't talk to me again i don't even want to see you anymore i will not i won't be so i won't change so obviously like it's not like oh after that conversation then it's done no but it's just be reducing reducing until you're out of my life okay anyway thank god when i was dating i was a bloody student <laughs> i was a bloody student so is it the pocket money my father is giving me you now want to come and collect from me and from what i've even seen even students do it i even saw one that said she used her school fees hey, hey. i don't even want that i say I'm, I'm 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 dumbfounded you use your school fees you carry your school fees and go and give man that what happened that men are scarce yeah that men are scarce that if you don't give him see let me tell you something here eh? i don't pity women who say things like i slept with this guy okay so he used me or i give this guy my money so he used me no he didn't use you sis don't, don't get it twisted he did not use you you used yourself 
you used yourself okay repeat after me say i use myself <laughs> you used yourself because what it means is that you had it at the back of your mind maybe you didn't want to do it okay you didn't want to give him that money you didn't want to sleep with him but because you are trying to please him so that he will in turn like you back because you are trying to do him a favor so that in turn he will choose you that was why you decided to agree to it that's what it means that's what it means so if, you, if anybody comes close to me and tell me oh my god this guy used me i automatically start seeing you differently like this one does not have sense because uh, yes and it, it's even yes even down to i'm not i'm not um I'm not advising anybody to go and start uh, uh, having sex indiscriminately or whatever. But even down to that, you cannot come and open your mouth and tell me that <laughs> after all I did for him, <laughs> the guy still left me. He used me for my body. He did not use you, my madam. Like, it's not, it's not, doesn't it take two to tango? Hmm? Why not I wait when it was happening? Why are you drunk? Uh -huh. So, my dear, what was I saying? Yeah, uh -huh. if you are not a willing participant in that, eh, uh, uh, Coitus. <laughs> if you are not a willing participant in that, you know, um, activity, uh, maybe you were drugged, you were drunk, you didn't know what you were doing, you know, or you know, for some something happened that you are not just conscious about it, you know, uh, hey, that's actually actually criminal. So you should even go and report the guy. You should go and report the guy. Actually, yes, you should go and report the guy and. Um, seek justice, okay? But that you are willing, you you are you are willing, you you are doing it, you are willing. But the only reason is that uh, you are doing it because you wanted to please the guy, and then since the guy now has left you, it means that he used you. Something is wrong with you, like I'm saying, because he did not use you. You were you 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 both received whatever you wanted from it, even if you did not enjoy it, okay? Even if you did not enjoy it, what you wanted from it is to please the guy so that he would choose you, right? Okay. And the guy too wanted you not know, to be pleased and he was pleased. So, <laughs> you pleased him and he pleased you back. And so, what is the problem? Please shine your eyes on what December is Ruego, or Self. We are in December, we are in Christmas, we are, in, we, are, we are about to celebrate Christmas. This, people are now, people, this is the time when a lot of people do rubbish things like that. I know. Yes, all these I just got backs, you know. I just got backs. <laughs> Some of them, I can't put a do this kind of rubbish. They'll come and borrow money from you and go back, and then you cannot collect your money back, and that's the end of the relationship. Shine your eyes, my sister. And I've noticed that this thing happens a lot with most of my friends who are, you know, of working class. I've noticed it a lot. A lot of my friends who are working have told me about how they meet a guy today the ne next two days he's borrowing money next day he's asking to pay for something for him you know next day he's you know he's forgetting his wallet you put went for a date he's forgetting his wallet we will watch that play together we will watch the play together <laughs> yeah hey you cannot shame the shameless we will watch that play together you forgot your wallet me i, for I forgot my whole existence <laughs> You know, he'll start forgetting wallet, he'll start telling you things like, um, okay, just pay, don't worry, I'll give you the money when we get, I'll do the transfer. You know, do the transfer, then when it's not time to do the transfer, he'll tell you that something's happening with his app, that don't worry, he'll do the transfer later. You know, when you even call him for the money, he'll just be like, uh-uh, is it not how much? It's not, it's not, he, like, he won't take like a big deal, like, don't worry, I'm going to pay you. I said I was going to pay you, I'm going to pay you. <laughs> uh, sister, shine your eyes, please. A lot of, a lot of people these days, are looking for women that they can use okay that is one of the advantages okay of marrying early or dating while you are young okay it's one of the advantages now i'm not encouraging anybody to go and date while they are young please or i mean to go and marry while they are young i'm not encouraging early marriage or whatever like that i'm not i'm just telling you facts okay don't shoot the messenger okay just listen to the message don't shoot the messenger please one of the advantages of dating and marrying while you are still very young is that most men who go for you know, girls who are just fresh out of school, or they are still in school, or you know, they are just you know doing their NYSC, or they are just starting in a you know a small job. Maybe she she just finished school and she just got a small job at something somewhere, you know, or you know, yeah, we just we shall know that she doesn't have money. She she's broke. Hey, hey. One of the advantages of that is that most men who go for women like that go for women like that with the mindset that they are going to take care of the women they don't they're not expecting much from you they know you don't have like they know <laughs> they know so you know get so they're not expecting much from you um yeah sometimes they expect they're coming for you with the prospects that in the future you're going to have and you're going to be better especially if they're marrying you you know they're not marrying you um as they, i don't i don't even i don't even like calling women who marry 
when they've not made, mo made money in liability or women who are not making money. I don't, I don't know how I put it. Okay, what I'm trying to say is this. I don't agree with people who say no man wants a, wants a liability so you must have something doing. Because what makes you an asset is not only monetary contribution, okay? That's my own opinion. That's my own opinion. What makes you an asset is not only money. In fact, monetary contribution is one of it or can be one of it. But without monetary contribution, you can still be the greatest asset that a man can have. So when people say he doesn't want a liability, so he have something, eh, I beg, I don't understand that. Like, you can, you can even be a liability even when you have something doing, okay? When you are, you are making your own money, okay? But that's a discussion for another day. Anyway, so as I was saying, most men go, go to such women knowing that she no get, she no get. I'm just going there, you know, because I love her and, you know, I'm ready to take care of her. I'm ready to force her abuse. I'm ready to, you know, spoil her and all that, okay? But when you've already started working, when you've already started making money, when you've already gotten established, when you're already, like, you know, doing boss things and making money moves, a lot of men, a lot of men come because of the money. Like, I've seen it time and time again. And some of you women are always so quick. I don't know what it is. You're now making money. You're not, you're not even any more than men. You want to show yourself. You want to show yourself. Anything you're bringing out money. Everything. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. Don't worry, I can pay my bills. Don't worry, I can... <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad to, to do all those things, okay? But sister, calm down. Calm down. Stop making the rest of us look bad. <laughs> The rest of us look back, calm down. We know you have the money, eh? Keep it in your account, calm down. It's like you don't know who to give, you don't know who to give the money to. You don't have, and that's the funny thing about some of these women that you know can't give men money. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just ranting like this. Some of you that can't give men money, you have siblings, you have relatives, you have friends, you have brothers, you have your fellow friends, female friends that need money. You will not give them, they will not even see your one naira. But a guy comes and tells you, oh my god, you're the sugar in my tea, you're this and my dad, and I pay, can you just give me some money? You have, you have already, in fact, before he finished talking, he said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I'll do the transfer. What's wrong with you? When it comes to my money, hey, my love no reach there, oh. my love does not reach there. That's why I keep saying, because yes, if you think about it, it's not fair, okay? Men spoil women a lot, men give women money a lot, even mm. without you asking, even when you ask. If you need money, <laughs> like some people say, once you meet a woman, two days after it's her birthday, and, and next week she, her house rent is due, this and that, uh, we understand that part, okay? Yes, men give women money, so that's why I'm not a feminist, okay? Yes, I'm not a feminist. I told you guys before, I'm not a feminist. I agree with some feminist sentiments, okay? You can call me a part-time feminist when it comes to societal injustice against women or injustice against women in general. Ah, you will see me there, don't worry, I'm, I'm part of that. But when it comes to relationship, you know, dynamics of, in a relationship and, and how things work in a relationship, hey, I'm not a feminist, so please don't, don't stress me. I'm not a feminist, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I love to cater to my man, okay? The way I'll, the way I'll contribute to your life is I can cook for you, okay? With your ingredients, so don't forget that. With your ingredients, I can cook for you, I can serve you breakfast in bed, you know? I can do all those kind of things, but when it comes to my money, please don't even don't even go there. I know the funny thing, <laughs> me that I'm talking like this, when I was dating, I wasn't someone who used to even cook for people. Like my husband that I'm married to now, I never cooked for him once till we got married. Okay, no, I cooked for him after we said after we had gotten engaged, I visited him and I cooked for him. But all those times that he would come and see me in school, as I come to see me in school, we are going out. <laughs> We're going out to eat. I never cooked for him. Okay. I'm not one of those people that I, I I like to I can cook for you because I want to cook for myself as well. Like okay, I'm hungry and I need to eat and I want to cook and you are you're around or I'm in your house. I can cook food in your house for both of us to eat and enjoy. But uh, others, you know, my boyfriend, my boyfriend, you know, doesn't have anybody to help him and he's very busy. So I want to go and be stocking his fridge every weekend. Uh, uh, don't stress me, please. I, I wasn't, I'm not one of those women. <laughs> so it's kind of ironic that I'm the same person that is here now saying I prefer to cater to my man. But anyway, I still prefer to cater to my man physically than for me to bring out my money. Like I don't, it they pinch me for body. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with my eyebrows. Let me... Should I do a shadow? Hey, I didn't plan to do a shadow. I did not plan to do a shadow. Should I do a shadow? So I'm using this Give It To Me Straight Palette from Colourpop. It's actually a nice um, rose gold palette. Is it rose gold? Yeah, it's like a pinkish rose gold palette. So let me just use it. 
but I won't do much. You. I'm not gonna do much. Anyway, so where was I? Now, all these things I'm saying, eh, am I saying that you should never give any guy mo get money? Are there not cases where a woman gave a guy money and he still treated her right, paid her back, you know, went on to even do more for her? Of course, there are cases like that, okay? But that's why you need the Holy Spirit, okay? There are no absolutes in life. Eh, to every exception, to every rule, there's an exception. So, of course, it can happen. That might be your story. That might be your case. Kudos to you, you know, I'm happy for you, sis, like, you know, you know, yeah. So, I, I'm not doubting that it exists, but what is the probability of it being your case? What's the probability of it being your case? These days, a lot of men are looking for women to prey on because they know that many women are desperate. And I keep saying this thing. They can smell a lot of women's desperation from miles away, miles away. They can smell it that, ah, this one wants me. This one wants me. This one has the mindset that men are scarce. I keep saying it that men are not scarce. I don't know. Men are not scarce. So, and men are very, very cheap. Men are very cheap. And they are not scarce. The problem is, okay, the good ones are scarce. Yeah. The good ones, they are, they, are, they are finishing in the market. <laughs> they are not finishing in any market. Trust me, men are not scarce. The problem is that the nonsense ones are the ones who attract the most women let me put it that way yeah the nonsense men are the ones that attract the most women a lot of good guys come in very poor packages so women will be overlooking that one and be following the demons up and down that's just the truth okay argue with whoever you want to argue that at that point with but that's that is just the truth it's not even about what i believe it is just the truth a lot of good guys a lot of you know nice godly god-fearing treats their women right guys come in poor packages are not really so savvy when it comes to toasting a woman they are not, they are not all that so a lot of women who are following glitz and glamour you know we like shiny things eh? a lot of women because we like shiny things we are going for the trash meanwhile there's there's um um meanwhile there's gold beside you but you're going for trash shiny trash okay a lot of women don't just have that discerning spirit so that's why you need the holy spirit to actually guide you yeah, because case, I'm not saying, I mean, I mean, you can meet a guy who is very hardworking, is doing very well in his job, and for some reason, or in his business, for some reason, he needs money urgently for something, and, you know, God has brought you to his path to help him. It, it happens, I mean, I, I personally, it has not happened to me, I've not even seen anybody, it happens to, it happened to, but I've heard, you know, one or two stories that sounded like, you know, that was the case, okay, so it, it can happen, but what is the probability that it's going to happen to you, like I said, okay, are you... Are you someone who is very close to the Holy Spirit? Are you the one that, that listens to God? Do you listen? Because it's wanting to be close to the Holy Spirit. It's another thing for you to, to listen. Do you listen? I thought I would be like, God, take away any bad man from me. This one, that one, that one, that one. But when he when he's trying to take away the bad man for, from you, now you, you'll be the one chasing after the bad man. You'll be the one crying. You'll be the one, you know, doing everything you can to get him back, you know? So... So that's just it. That's just that's just life for you. A lot of men these days are looking for women to prey on, and they are succeeding because they know they know we, we, a lot of women are not sharp. Okay, when I mean sharp, I don't mean you, you might be acing it in your in your you know academics or your place of work. You might be the brightest, whatever. But when it comes to relationship, you are very very dumb or dull. That's just the truth. A lot of women are like that. That is why they keep being used. You know, and we keep. We keep hiding behind, oh, feelings, emotions, eh, eh So yes, in one of my videos, I talked about, you know, how being delicate, being girly, being emotional and, and stuff like that is not a bad thing. It's something that you should, you should use to your advantage. But like I said, use it to your advantage, okay? When it comes to, to, to where those things are necessary, use them to your advantage. But when they're not necessary, please, my sister, when you're dating, like I keep saying, Marry with sense. Date with sense. I've made a video about this in last year, last two years. Marry with sense. Like, don't don't shut down your brain just because you are in a relationship because you have seen man. Uh -uh. Did, 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 did somebody are they doing this thing to us? Did, did somebody do us? Okay. Someone was even saying that um, that part where God cursed Eve and He said your your desire shall be of your husband or something like that. Well, let me just check the actual scripture. Uh, hey, yes, so the, the actual scripture says your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you So someone was saying that this is the reason why sometimes women misbehave when they're around men or everything about women is always men 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 And I was like me. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. All I'm saying is that uh, If it's about husband is he then he's not your husband now. I mean when you're dating this guy's not yet, not yet your husband So why can't you shine your eyes when you're not married to the person? I don't know I don't know what is happening in the world of today, but we women are, are beginning to lose it. 
We're beginning to blur a lot of lines as women. Yeah, we're beginning to blur a lot of lines, especially for the younger generation. It's actually sad if that's what women are actually doing. All right, so I've gone ahead to line my eyes. I just want to do my lips now. No, I don't want to do anything serious on my lips. But yeah, let me just do my lips. guys so i'm done with my makeup yes uh, this is just what i could do and i think it turned it turned out good yes even though i didn't have foundation i think it turned out good okay yeah so yeah that's it that's the end of our meeting okay what is our takeaway from this meeting i think especially when it comes to you know younger women our takeaway from this meeting is number one stop giving men your money stop it stop it sis stop giving men your money like why why is it only you that is available to give him money why is it only you if, if he doesn't borrow, like, how was he surviving before he met you? Hmm? Stop giving me your money, okay? Yes, except the Holy Spirit expressly leads you to go and give him your money, then that's fine. But stop giving me your money. You meet a man, and then one week later, he's borrowing money from you. For what? For what? Because he, he likes you, and you like him, hey? And so what? He's not going to die if you don't give him the money, okay? So stop stop, stop um, giving men your money. Also, men are not scarce. Men are not, are not scarce. Stop stop giving men the impression that they are scarce. So you can do anything. You can bend over backwards for them. Men are not scarce, okay? Good men self are not scarce. Just go to the right places where you will be found. I, I had somebody who reached out to me once and was telling me that a lot of men who come, you know, to her after a while, in fact, after a short while, they ask her for money, she'll give them the money, and then that's how they'll just bail out on her. And I thought that there's something you're doing that is attracting the wrong men. So it's either you are, you know, meeting them in the wrong places, or you are doing too much too soon, which is making them run, or something. There's something that you're doing that is... I'm not saying the men are not bad. I'm, I, I mean, I'm not excusing what the men are doing. But I'm saying you, self, when you see that there is now a pattern, adjust, change your strategy, do some things differently, okay? Stop going to meet men in the wrong places. Stop allowing men use you. That's the third takeaway. Don't allow men use you. Don't allow men use you, okay? Anything you want to do for a man, do it with your, with your heart and enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy it. Like, enjoy it in such a way that if nothing comes out of that relationship, you're not going to feel bad or feel hurt, okay? That's what I'm, I'm trying to say. Enjoy your relationship with any man that you, that you decide to have a relationship with. Yeah, you self, use the man. Are you allergic to using people? Use him back, okay? So, both of, both of you should use each other so that when this whole thing scatters, you know, nobody's going to feel bad, okay? Yeah, what else? What other point again can we take away from this? If you watch my video on, you know, attracting your desires using, you know, your feminine allure, you will see that there is nowhere there where I mentioned we're going to be doing things for a man. We're going to do, like, as a woman, you're supposed to take care of, okay? You're supposed to attract men, not pursue men, okay? Pursuing, you know, your, your, your partner is actually a male, a masculine quality. It's the man that pursues. The woman is the one that is being pursued, okay? So allow yourself to be pursued. Stop doing too much and making the rest of us look bad, eh? Stop making the rest of us look bad. Some of us don't like giving our money out. Some of us used to have chest pain if we have to bring out money and give a man, okay? Stop doing too much to try and keep a man. A man that likes you, likes you, okay? Yes. Yeah, and I've said this thing before that a man who wants you, it's, it's on a who he will be urgent about you. He's one that's going to be going above and beyond to try and please you, to try and get you, okay? Not the other way around, sis. Not the other way around, okay? Anyway, I've talked enough, okay, so she who has ears, let her hear. Keep your money, save your money, invest your money in your name, invest your money. Stop stop looking for men to dash money to. If you're looking for people to dash money to, there are motherless babies around you, there are orphans around you, there are poor people around you that need this money, go and give it to them. Stop giving it to men who are just using you for trips, okay? Shine your eyes. I hope that's clear. Anyway, I'm about to rush out now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.